everybody. It's me, Beth Maitland of Drama Queen Bee Quilts, and I'm coming to you from my audio booth at Sony Pictures, and I just wanted to talk to you today about stabilizing your quilt on your long arm quilting rack. Some people call it a frame, some people call it a rack, and yes, I do stabilize my quilts. Uh, some people baste, some people pin, but I like to sew it all the way down so that it doesn't flex and move when I'm working, especially on a custom quilt, within the parameters of um, of the custom work, the sashing, the border. So I go around the entire outside and I sew an entire seam around the outside. I, I start by leveling it and mounting it on the frame. And with each advance, I sew down each side. So what we're going to look at is me finishing the bottom of a toddler quilt. So you can see it's already sewn down for part of it and the rest of it is loose. I start by pinning. I go to the corners and across the bottom and put in a few tacking pins just to keep everything stabilized. I am not putting my side spring clamps on because in this case I have my ruler table on and it won't allow without bumping and creating a problem my uh, sewing machine to get all the way over to the edge. So I'm doing it all by hand and just using a few little pins um, it pos positioned perfectly in order to get me around that corner and keep everything stable. The main goal is to make sure there's no puckering or ruffles and to keep everything smooth. Remove the pins as you go so you don't break your needle or ruin the timing on your sewing machine. And I just use my hand to smooth the fabric as I go along and make sure that everything is nice and tidy and smooth. And I'm using a full stitch, not a basting stitch, because I want to make sure that it doesn't shift when I'm doing the borders or when I'm up doing the blocks. So I just gently go over the seams, remove the pins, go around the corner, and as you see, I come back up the side, and I'm going to now connect with the, the previous portion of the quilt that I've already stabilized. This is my final advance before I finish the bottom of this toddler quilt. So um, it's easy to tie on and tie off because you're along the outside edge of the quilt.